What's up, guys? I am back. This is T. Raynard with Conversations with T. Raynard, and we have our special guest visiting um, with us today, LaToya. Yes, I'm here. All right, all right. <laughs> now, okay, so we were talking last segment mm -hmm. about, you know, you are, um, you definitely have three amazing kids, mm -hmm. and you mentioned, what were the ages again? They're 19, 14, and 3. 19, 14, and 3. Wow. Three-year-old. How'd that happen? Well, okay, I know how it happened, <laughs> but I'm saying, how'd that happen? <laughs> It, it was a break in birth control, and it happened. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. And and I've actually seen pictures of of your baby, and mm -hmm. definitely, you know, gorgeous, She's gorgeous, gorgeous. She absolutely, my heart. absolutely. Now, my question to you is: now, the you were in a long term relationship, correct? Okay, for how many years? Um, total about 15 or 16 years wow okay and we split probably about four of those years though so. okay so you were married no never married okay so now let me ask you this because this is a, a question that i commonly ask women i mm -hmm. find that men we selfishly we will take you off the market mm -hmm. okay and we'll take you off the market for years oh. never with any intention of marrying you <laughs> but the whole purpose is so you will have our children mm -hmm. and also to make sure that another man does that not have exactly. you. Exactly. And that's exactly what happened to me. Wow. So, but as you, 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 you are a very intelligent woman mm -hmm. and obviously an attractive woman. Well, so thank you. Thank you. you could be with anyone you want to be. Why did you stick around that, that amount of time without a more um, serious commitment? In my case, it was age. We met when I was 16 and he was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. And we had our first child when I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. So by the time things got going and I saw that this relationship may or may not go anywhere, a child was already involved. Right. And I was already a young mother trying to figure it out. So sure. I stayed. And then the longer I stayed, it turned more into, well, I've already invested this much time. Let me just work it out and try to continue as long as I can for my family. Because by then, another son is added in. He had kids before me that I fell in love with and sure. considered them my own. So when I look back and, you know, 10 years pass and I'm fed up with mm -hmm. the way that the relationship is going or not going, mm -hmm. then you look back at 10 years and, you know, what you're possibly breaking up, you feel a sort of, you, you feel guilty. Right. And so you just say, okay, you know what? I'm going to forgive this one last time. I'm going to, you know, try to move on this one last time. And once you do that, three more years are added on. So mm -hmm. it just, it, it time just got away and you just feel... As a woman, I felt obligated to keep my family together because that's what I'm accustomed to in my family. Like, no matter what, you keep your family together. Because your parents are still married? Yes, my parents are still married. They've been married probably 40-something years. Wow. Probably 46 years. My grandparents were made, married 80 years until they passed. And um, between my aunts and uncles, I have about... 23 aunts and uncles when you mm -hmm. consider both sides of the family and only one couple got divorced and right. that was after 50 years and their kids were grown and had their own right kids. so it was just I've, I've always seen marriage and family being modeled and so i felt i can't be the one to break the <laughs> the legacy right. to not be with my kid's father and you know that's interesting you say that because my family is very similar as well there's only one couple that Divorce. Mm -hmm. My parents have been together um, going on 48 years mm -hmm. as well. And but I kind of took the opposite approach. I wish that I would have been more selfless mm -hmm. because when my first marriage began to co have complications, I was like, I'm out. Right. Like I got to a point where I'm out and it was very much about me. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about, wow, you know, I had the benefit of growing in an environment with mom and dad. Right. But now I'm taking this away from my children right right you know and i wish that i would have been a little more selfless in right. that situation right so do you feel in that situation like maybe you were wanting to experience life more or you just weren't feeling the person that you were with well one thing i learned about myself is that i used to suffer a lot from ego mm -hmm. so she cheated Mm -hmm. So my ego was bruised. Got it. Okay. And I'm like, okay, I couldn't look at her the same. Right, right. Right. Um, and the fact that other people knew what happened. Right. So now they're looking at me. Right. You know, and so my ego came into play. Right. Because one of the things that I said walking in, 
to any relationship is I can deal with anything except infidelity. Right, right. You know, you cheat, you black history. You right. got to go. Right. And so you call my bluff. Right. So I had no choice but to have your shit in a pile in the living room right. when you came home. Got it. Okay. okay. Got it. But that was the selfish ego side of me not taking in consideration my children. Got it. I don't live in regret. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I definitely, you know, want to commend you for that. But on the flip side, some may say that what you, that you were not able to model to your children, what your parents were able to model to you mm -hmm. because you were being selfless instead mm -hmm. of saying, let me end this relationship and let me find a man who wants to give me the ultimate commitment. Right. And it, it went back and forth. So it, it would get to a point where I'm like, you know, look, I'm done. And then he's begging, no, keep the family together. And then mm -hmm. it's time he's telling, he's literally telling me like, Hey, I want to go out and experiment. I want to do this. And then I'm on the other end saying fighting, like, no, you're not going to be that one. What am I supposed to do? I have the kids, right? blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. So it was definitely friction on both sides. But if kids weren't involved, we would have split way before right. any of that got started. But right. kids and history and good times, bad times. I mean, it just, it just played a part. So before we we go to break, I want to mm -hmm. ask you this. If you had to do it again, would you handle it differently? I always say if I had to, if I could do it again and get the same kid, I don't know how to answer that question and not say, because my kids came from that. Right. <laughs> so I can't say I'll go back and change it because now that means, okay, I won't have, if I could have the same kids and have a different relationship, I'd be out. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say it like that. <laughs> right. But, um... It taught me a lot. I would have definitely went away a long time ago because I've lost all of my, I'm going to call them development years of when a person really truly figures out who they are. Mm -hmm. I spent all of that with the wrong person. Right. So now I see when I do go into new relationships, number one, I'm already comparing. Mm -hmm. How is that compared to, mm -hmm. to him? And then also I'm already accustomed to being treated a certain way right so anything new it feels weird it, right. it feels you know kind of and that's not to say he never treated me bad he never hit me never you know sure. did anything like that so he he did not treat me bad our main fight our main complications came from infidelity right so you he, know it, it so when i go into a new relationship and if someone even shows a clear sign i'm like yep he cheating mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah, but you know, it's interesting what you just said. You said he never treated you bad. And it it triggered a thought in my mind where I felt like in the past, I never mistreated women because mm -hmm. I never cursed them out, never right. put my hands on them, never cheated on them. Right. But I was not the man that I needed to be for them. Right. I didn't give them what I promised to give them, which mm -hmm. was, you know, uh, leadership and security right. and um, exclusivity. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't physically cheat, but right. I mentally cheated, right. you know, which violated the relationship. Right. So when we come back, um, now that you are out there, you know, on the dating scene mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you got mm -hmm. some booze mm -hmm. with an mm -hmm. S, okay, <laughs> um, definitely want to talk about f f from a, a woman's perspective, like we hear how bad it is out there. Mm -hmm. So we want to see if, um, you know, get some insight from you. Okay. As far as the dating scene out here. Right. So, hey, this is uh, T. Ray Nard along with Latoya <laughs> with Conversations with T. Ray Nard. We'll be right back.